हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा वेलकम टू डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज ज्वाइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ये लेंस ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड टू बी एंड ए सर्टेन अमाउंट टू सी एट द सेम टाइम एट सेवन परसेंट एनुअल सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इफ आफ्टर फोर इयर्स A all together receives eleven hundred and twenty as interest from B and C. Then sum lent to C is. This question is from interest chapter. You can expect similar questions in C set. Now A lends twenty five hundred to B. Twenty five hundred a certain amount to C. We do not know that. Let's assume it as X. Here. A lent these amounts to B and C at the same time at seven percent annual simple interest. Okay, so rate is seven percent for both. If after four years, so time duration is four years, which is same for both. A altogether receives eleven hundred twenty rupees as interest from B and C. So interest on this amount and interest on this amount is. Eleven hundred twenty rupees, my friends. This is clear, right? This is B's principal and rate of interest and time duration. This is C's principal, rate of interest and time duration. Now we have total simple interest. That is one one two zero. This is equal simple interest obtained on the amount given to B. Okay, plus simple interest obtained on the amount given to C. Okay. Simple interest formula we know, my friends. Okay, P N R by hundred. Okay, so one one two zero is equal simple interest on the amount given to B. That is P is twenty five hundred. N is four years. R is rate of interest seven by hundred plus X. The principal amount given to C is X. N is four. R is seven by hundred. Now one one two zero is equal twenty five hundred plus x into four into seven by hundred. Four into seven by hundred is common in both, so I took it outside. Now we have one one two zero is equal twenty five hundred plus x into four seven zero twenty eight by hundred. Twenty eight ones are twenty eight fours are twenty eight fours are one one twelve. So this is forty, my friends. Okay. Now twenty five hundred plus x is equal to hundred into forty. Okay, that is four thousand. X is equal four thousand minus twenty five hundred. This is equal fifteen hundred. So x is the sum lent to C, my friends. So our answer is C. We know the formula, my friends. Okay, for simple interest, that is only one formula. Simple interest is equal P N R by hundred. Now, what I did, I have assumed the things which are not known. Okay, sum lent to C is not known, so I have assumed it as X. Now I have gone step by step, my friends. Okay, divide and rule. I have identified what are all the information given and put them in this equation, my friends. Okay. Total interest obtained is equal interest obtained on amount given to B plus interest obtained on amount given to C. From this, I found out the value of x, my friends. Clear, right? So nothing to worry. All the things you know. All you have to do is go step by step, divide and rule, my friends. Okay? Now similar problem, my friends. This is the total amount a man had. Now he gave some amount at four percent interest rate, and the rest at five percent interest rate. Okay, so solve this problem in the similar manner. Assume the things which are not known. Okay, the solution to this problem will be posted in our Telegram channel in the evening, and kindly comment your answers in the comment section below. To know more about the course, kindly visit csatmantra.com. If you have any queries, feel free to call us or mail us. Thank you.